say unto you, So whoever shall confess me before man, him shall the Son of Man also confess before the angel of God. Okay, somebody read uh, 1 John 4.2. By this you know the Spirit of God. Every spirit that confesses that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh is from God. And every spirit that does not confess Jesus is not from God. This is the spirit of the Antichrist, of which you have heard that is coming. And now it is already in the world. Okay, so what, what, what reoccurring thing, you can keep reading if you want to, but what keeps reoccurring? What are we hear? Confess? Are we all agree that the, the characteristic that we keep hearing is confession? Oh, okay, good job. Confess Jesus as Lord. I'm going to ask the same question. Is it possible for me to be a Christian and not confess Jesus as my Lord? So again, we see a whole other characteristic that we never really saw before. You can say you're a Christian all day long, but if you're not confessing him as your Lord, the Word says... You're not his. Jesus said, if you deny me before man, I will what? So we need to confess. So when we confess, right, we're good, right? No, we got more stuff. We got more stuff. Come on, who knows uh, Romans 10, 9? We, we say this all the time as preachers. We go around saying, Romans 10, 9, if you believe in your heart and you confess with your mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord and God raised us from the dead, you what? You'll be saying, believe, confess, believe, confess, we're good. Let's go. No? But yet, how many people hinge their salvation on a prayer? And now I know I'm kind of stepping on some toes right now, but I want you, I, I'm serious. I want you to show me. Show me where it says in the Bible, if you say a prayer, you're saying. Nowhere. Nowhere. Study. But yet, what do we tell people? Hey, if you say this prayer, you'll be saved. Now, I'm, I'm not saying because it's the heart. It's what's, what's going on in the heart. There's nothing wrong with saying that prayer. But the thing is, if I say, well, how do you know you're saved? Did you say, well, I examined myself and I saw Jesus Christ in me? No, most people say, well, I said a prayer. You know, I went to the altar and I said this prayer. Huh? <laughs> I, don't, I don't see that in the scriptures. I, I said a prayer and I, that's how I know I say. No, the scriptures say examine yourself and see if you see Jesus in you. That's what the scriptures say. All right, so let, 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 let's, um, let's, let's look at some warnings. We got a warning, gang. I'll, I'll read this one. This is Jesus speaking. Jesus says, Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of God, into the kingdom of heaven. But he that doeth the will of my Father which is in heaven. Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name? And in thy name have cast out devils. And in thy name done many wonderful works. And then I will profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, ye that work iniquity. Well, hold on. Didn't we just read that if I confess him before others, I'll be saved? Didn't we just read that? <laughs> but then here it is. He's saying, Lord, didn't I do this? Lord, I was in church. Lord, didn't you see me singing in the choir? I was professing your name. Lord, oh, Lord, didn't you see me at Shelby College? I was out there passing tracks out. He's going to say, who? Who are you? I don't know you. So again, let's go back to our picture. Uh, it's kind of messed up there. We get an ear, we get a little bit more of the picture, but yet there's no difference between this and somebody else going to hell. Because there's going to be people that have confessed Jesus Christ, but he's going to say, I don't know you. The point that I'm trying to drive home is that I want us to be confident. I want, to have, want us to have assurance. But yet we have so many people who take a little bit and they run with it. And then we're not discipling them and letting them know, hey, this is what it is to be a follower of Christ. I say we, because God has commissioned all of us to disciple. And so before somebody just goes up and they say a prayer, and then they're done with that prayer, and we see them and say, hey, you need to keep getting discipled. You need to get in Bible study. Yes, absolutely. Give your heart to the Lord, but then you need to learn what it is to be a follower of Christ. 
See, the disciples, they dropped their nets. They just say, hey, there's a Messiah. We believe in you. And come on working. But they dropped their nets and they became a follower of Jesus Christ. And that's what we have to do. We have to be a follower of Jesus Christ. And so we have some more characteristics that we're going to go over. There's actually, I want to say, four more. Six all together. And we're going to keep working on this picture and what we need to see inside of us. And again, I'm not saying that if you're lacking something, that you're not saved. But what I am saying is that if you see that you're lacking something, then something inside of you should say, let me gain it. Let me make sure that I see that in me. And actually, I, I want to end with this point. What is this confession? We've been talking about this, this confession. If you confess, is that, is that saying a prayer? What is that confession? That is a type of confession, but I'm talking about this confession where Jesus said, if you deny me before others, I'll deny you before my Father. Is that meaning a prayer? Because yeah. Romans 10, 9, I think we take that out of context. If you believe in your heart and you confess with your what? Somehow we turn that into a prayer. But what confession is Jesus talking about? Confession with word. Where does the powerful thing actually say it? Saying it to who? Okay. To others. To others. It's just like this. Um, name, 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 name a fine brother. That, that somebody everybody know, a movie star. Yes. Denzel. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Help me out for a minute. Now, I, I'm, I'm, Den, I'm Denzel right now, and you're my wife. <laughs> what did she do? No, she, she did it perfectly. Because what did she do? She's still right next to me. See, when you have a relationship with somebody, you don't ignore them. You're not like, I don't know him. I don't, I don't know who that. You don't walk someplace, you, you holding hands, and you're like, come on. Look, look, my husband. I got this. This is my Girl, let you see my husband. Have you met him? This is Denzel. You're going to show him to everybody. Yeah. Why? Because there's a relationship there. Right. See, this what, I, what I'm going over, it's not a checklist. Following Christ is not a to-do list. It's all about a relationship. If there's a relationship, then you're going to automatically confess. And you can't wait to tell people, oh man, have you seen what Jesus has done for me? Confession is something that's automatic because it's something that's working inside of you. It's not something that I have to force out. Oh man, let me tell you about Come here, let me show you Jesus. Let me make you get this out the way. Here, everybody, here's Jesus. Okay, go back. Go, don't sit back down, Jesus. Now I can party. Uh -oh. <laughs> I'm glad you said that because a lot of people think that you have to go to an altar to, like, that's the only way that you can be saved. How many altars are there in the um, New Testament? Folks are getting saved on the spot. It didn't matter. It could be jungle, desert, <laughs> ocean, chariot, boat, middle of the sea, in a well. <laughs> <Didn't matter. laughs> Can uh, here's here's a question. Being saved, does it have to be in front of a pastor? Does it have to be in front of um, someone who's further along with you? No, because it's, a, it's all about a heart. Everything that we're going over, how can I have a relationship with, um, how can you have a relationship with Denzel Washington if you don't believe in him? Can you? You gotta believe and know him, right? And what kind of relationship do you guys have if you're constantly putting him to the side and not showing him off and not letting people know that you guys are married, is that a relationship? It's a wrong kind of relationship. So it's all about a heart issue. These things will automatically flow out. See, if you're suppressing Jesus Christ in your talk as you're talking with folks, and you're like, okay, I'm going to say anything because they're going to make fun of me or they're going to say this or they're going to do 